Welcome to day 22 of Vlogmas. We're getting very close now. Christmas is only two nights away here in Finland. Um, I'm sitting here in my uh, living room at the moment, right in the middle of all my Christmas decorations um, that my family have brought out and they've started started doing um, some of the decorating. The tree is in the house. It's not decorated yet, but it's here. Um, so we are well underway. Uh, but I often get this feeling at this time when everything is a bit chaotic and there's stuff everywhere and there's still a lot of organizing and tidying up and um, cleaning and, and I, I get a bit like, oh, now I just want to lay down and Christmas can come if it wants to. I can't be, I couldn't care less. <clears throat> um, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll have another day. I have another day tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe I'll have some more energy then. I was feeling a bit chilly, so I just put this, this uh, sofa blanket or sofa shawl on me that I always keep handy when I'm in the sofa. Um, just to pull, it's a circular shawl. I, I've showed it before, but I can show you again. It's actually very nice. It's a little small. It could be a little, uh, a little bigger. Uh, if, if you want to sleep under it, for instance, which I often do. Um, but it's nice, nice and handy. Anyway, um, today I haven't really been doing much um, craft-wise. I haven't really done anything. Work-wise, I didn't do anything either. <laughs> In my... <coughs> sorry. And... Um, but I did go go to town to do a bit of shopping and picking up some food and uh, that sort of thing um, and um, i went to pick up our turkey that we ordered smoked turkey because that's what we often have around christmas smoked meats in general are very popular here um, so uh, and i went so I, I'd, I had ordered a piece of smoked turkey and i went to pick that up and it's like an outdoor market um, where you buy directly from from the producer and let's just say i wasn't the only one who came to pick up their the tur turkey uh, i filmed it the queue because i just thought it was a bit hilarious actually all these people standing out in the cold waiting for their turkey but yeah um uh, all was good it, people were in a good mood and, and chatting away and waiting for Christmas, so we waited patiently for about an hour before we could get our turkey. Um, and then I went to do a bit of a, some more food shopping and um, went to our local um, um, shopping mall and just I took some footage there just of the Christmas decorations because I hadn't actually been there since they put the Christmas decorations up. I mean, I have not been shopping in, this, in town for weeks and weeks. Um, and then I went to the supermarket and then I had there I had a look at at um, the uh, magazines section which I often do just to see if there's anything new um, craft wise any sewing magazines any knitting magazines anything that's interesting and I just took um, some footage there just to show those of you who are not in Finland what our crafts section is may look like we often have a really good selection of of crafty magazines and knitting especially now this time there was only one um sock magazine dedicated sock magazine 
normally there is a, at least one or maybe more, two or three uh, sock uh, magazines in in our shops. I mean, this our people are it's crazy about knitting socks, and people just produce more and more sock patterns. <laughs> I don't know who who has the time to knit all those socks, and especially color work socks are really really popular. So there was one sock magazine there, and then there were some other you know general knitting magazines, which also probably had had sock patterns. And then the new line. Lina magazine, which came out, I think, last Friday, was also in the supermarket shelf. I had never seen that before. So that was interesting. I didn't buy it. I didn't buy any magazines. I was good. But I did have a bit of a browse. Of course, I have to. Um, so yeah, uh, maybe after Christmas, if I feel, <laughs> if I feel like there's any money left, then maybe I can treat myself to a magazine or so. Yeah, but in other words today, um, my husband has been cooking clementine marmalade all day long to give as Christmas gifts to friends and family, just in like a small, small symbolic gift. Uh, but he, but it took him all day. <laughs> but it is, and I went. One of the things I went to pick up in town were the jars because we didn't have uh, any suitable jars so i went to pick up some some jars um and it, it turned out really good and really nice and he's very determined when he gets his head around something then now we so now we we've got a big batch of marmalade to give away but yeah um i don't think i have anything else to really report about today um, I guess that's good in a sense. I mean, now that things are calming down a bit, uh, and everything is not everything. Not, not it's not that frantic, frantic and hectic and stressful anymore. I I still have a normal work day tomorrow, the day before Christmas, um, Christmas Eve. Um, but I really have very little to do at work and there is almost nobody but me there sort of uh, most people have taken out some holiday or some leave so they so i'm pretty much there on my own so nothing much is happening i pretty much just sit and watch my email uh, box to see if anything should appear that i need to respond to so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna edit this uh, vlog tomorrow be a little cheek and do it while i'm working So, so tonight I can I can continue relaxing and maybe watch a bit of of a series I'm watching at the moment, Vienna Blood, um, which is a period period murder drama, which I quite enjoy. Um, so I think I'm gonna watch some of that and knit on my blanket now that I've knitted all of my other stuff. So. Um, I'll see you tomorrow, and uh, then I'll see you on Christmas Eve. Bye for now.